What's up guys, I'm McKenzie and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best players you can sign on FIFA 18 career mode for free with a little trick that's been around for a few years. So if you enjoy, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment for videos just down below. If you want to check out my career mode series, you can check them out. There are links down there, they'll be in the cards, they'll be at the end of the video. Also, if you want to see a little cheat, they'll help you make literally billions, tens of billions of dollars per season in career mode, then check out a video, I'll link it down below, it'll be in the cards again, it'll be at the end of the video. Just check that out if you want to do it. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best players uh, for free or just get I'm going to be showing you the best players that you can get for free using a little trick I've just recorded this video once and the audio didn't record and I want to die so pretty much to do this trick it's um not going to help out the toppers of top teams like United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, so forth. It's going to help out a road to glory. If you're doing a road to glory career mode, this is on you. Like, this is going to help you out a lot. This is going to turn you from low 60s to mid 70s within one season. I've done this on a career mode, and within two seasons, I have like 80 overall plays. Mid 70s to 80 overall. And I started with uh, Green Rovers, or whatever they got, Forest Green Rovers. So, uh, yeah. Now, this is, of course, the pre contract trick. Uh, it's not really a trick, but when a player runs out, when they only have six months remaining on their contract they're over 23 years old you can offer that player a contract and you don't have to pay any transfer free uh, fee so it is free all you have to pay for them is their wage which is really cool and I've gone through every single player and I've picked out the best ones or my favorite ones that you guys can use in career mode now if you don't know how to do pre-contracts it's pretty simple all you need to do is find a player that has less than six months remaining on their or six months remaining on their contract put him into your transfer hub go to your transfer hub go to arm sign them and it'll just say approach to sign delegate the sign all you do is approach a sign and bam you're in contract negotiations with them pretty simple if you need more help you can comment down below i'll reply to you do whatever i have to do and also note that these are players that you can sign after your first season so this is the first season um so when you're in january of your first season all of these players are available to be signed um if you want to see me do a video where i talk about the players that you can sign in your second season and comment that down below and i'll get onto that as quick as possible but let's just get into it there are a lot of players we're going to start off with odegaard a norwegian who uh is a center back he's 64 overall can grow to 72 overall you can get him really cheap under 10,000 wage i've used him in my career mode he's really solid and if you're just simulating and you're not playing he's a really good player for a lowly club now we've got a russian i can't pronounce his name but he's a left back he's got decent pace he's a got decent dribbling and uh he's a decent player really if you need a left back he'd be pretty good signing to make moving on we got a winger now pazzini 69 overall can grow to 77 so already he can grow to be premier league standard and may i know guys that this uh these players can often outgrow their potentials all the young ones they can outgrow their potentials i've signed a few of them and they've all outgrown their potential so keep an eye on that if you use training they're going to grow even more so, um, yeah, pretty exciting. Pazzini's a pretty decent winger. He's got decent dribbling, decent pace. He's an all-around average winger, really. Next is a player that would probably be, be good with League 2 or League 1 teams. It's Leandro. He's got really good pace. Well, not really good, but he's decent pace. He looks like a decent player. And uh, he's all-around average striker, but he can grow to 72. He is 67 to begin with. And um, also remember this, guys. When you sign the player, it will happen in the second season. So you'll get him at the very beginning of the second season, which means they've already grown a bit. The players that have growth will have grown a bit. I signed a player and he had grown already to like, like three or four overall. Next is Tina Holm. He's a Swedish guy. Plays around center back or left back, right back. And he is a pretty decent player. He's got really decent pace. And uh, the rest of him is pretty average. Les Cano, he's got lots of pace. Decent shooting, decent dribbling. He is a left wing, right wing striker kind of player. He can play across that three for you. And he's a really good player. Um, four star weak foot, four star skills as well. You can probably score some cracking goals with him. And if you can pick him up really cheap, it's going to be really good. Next is Vare. Pretty average center mid. Not much to say about him. He's 23 years old, but he can grow to 79. So he can grow to be a decent Premier League center mid. Especially if he outgrows that potential. Next is Meza, who is a decent center back that you can pick up. He's got all right pace as well. He's only 26 years old, so you can have him for a few years. He's a Colombian or Ecuadorian. And uh, yeah, he's a solid center half, solid physical, solid defending, and will only get better. Now, the first goalkeeper is Guzman. He looks like an absolute murderer. He looks like he's probably killed everyone in Argentina. He's got 70 overall, 78 overall. He's 61 years old, and he's 6'4. He's 61. He's 
31 years old, and he's six foot four. Uh, yeah, he's pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Next is a player that's going to grow up a lot. He can grow nine overall from 67 to 76. It's Carlos Rivas. He's got 85 pace. This guy's rapid, and he's only going to get faster. He plays striker or on the wing. He's got good shot in him, too, and a good passing and dribbling. This guy is probably one of my favorites to sign. He's 23 years old. He's going to grow a lot. He's really fast, and he's really good. Then we've got Akuna, who's an all-round decent defender, plays left back or right back, and is pretty good. He's going to grow 7 to 74 overall. So if you're looking for a right back or a left back, I am going to say this guy's pretty decent. Next, we've got a really fast left back from Russia. Looks like my old music teacher. He's got 81 pace, and he's really good. He's actually a left wing back, but you can play him left back. It's not going to really affect it too much. He's a decent player who could probably even play on the wing. So if you're short for wingers, this guy could even step up for you. 75 to 76. He's already Premier League standard. Now we've got a no-face player, and I hate these. You guys probably hate these too. But I, I'm putting him in because he's pretty decent. He's got 74 overall. Can grow to 75. Four-star weak skills. Four-star weak... Four-star weak skills. Four-star skill moves. Four-star weak foot. Uh, he can grow to 75, like I said. But he's a decent winger, decent striker kind of player. And, um, yeah, really good. Also, he plays in the MLS. I noticed a ton of players are out of contract in the MLS. So if you, you're scouting, scout in the MLS because there are so many players that are out of contract there, including this guy here, Bill Hamid. He's a decent keeper, can gross three overall to 77. He's only 26 and he's six foot three. Pretty decent, and he looks pretty serious. Now we've got Leandro Pico. He can play in defensive mid. Well, he's not can he play. He is a defensive mid player, or he is a center back. He can play both of them. Probably defensive mid because he's 5'10". But uh, yeah, decent pace. All-round solid defensive mid. He will grow to 78 overall. Really good when you're picking them up for free. Another no-face player is Sidney Pesciendo. Uh, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, he sits in the round about the defensive mid as well. And this is probably the best defensive mid you can pick up for free. 72 pace, 74 passing, 75 dribbling, 81 physical. This guy's an absolute beast in the defense. He's got 62, um, 62. He's six foot two and he's only 25. This guy looks like an absolute solid defensive mid. Um, probably up there in the top three. Now we got Daniel Valava. He's got really good pace, 89 pace. He's a winger. And he's only five foot two, so he's gonna be like a really small player, just able to run through players easily. Five star weak foot, four no four star weak foot, four star skills, four star skills, four sk star wait four star weak foot, four star skills. Yes, oh, I'm so confused. Anyway, this guy can grow to 76, and he's just a good, good young player, really used. The next is a player that's been around for a long time. It's Case like Honda, all round brilliant player. Can play in the wing, can play in the center mid, can even play up front. He's got great dribbling he's got four star skills and he's a good player he's only uh, he is 31 so he probably won't last very long and he'll start going down but he's 78 overall any premier league team apart from the top ones would love to have this guy and he, he's in the top five place assigned in my opinion next we've got a player who's pretty low overall he's not someone you're going to stick around for a long time but he's a good backup player and he grows a lot he starts at 59 ends up at 71 he's a mexican his name is Mendio mendiola plays on the wing decent player for the wing not going to talk about him too much but uh yeah you're gonna be able to pick him up for like under 5,000 wage no problem now we got Dorlan Pabon 88 pace really good shooting he's a great player for up front or on the wings he's got four star skills and four star weak foot great great player again he would be in the top five I reckon I don't know how many people I've said have been in the top five but this guy is definitely up there he's a really good player and I, I would use him use him in like a Karima. He's actually really good. Now we got Zimmerman, a center back again from the US. He's not really fast or anything, but he's got a lot of physical and a lot of defending and can grow to 78 overall. For that, I'm going to put him in here and put him in the top five defenders to sign. I reckon he's a decent player. You can pick him up pretty easily and he can play for you whilst you're in league two. Good player. Next, we've got my favorite keeper to sign for free. It's this guy. I can't pronounce his name. He's been around for a long time as a goal player. Lots of people use him in, in Ultimate Team because he plays in uh, the Russian league. But a bit decent player to pick up for free. Now we got Ling Cheng Min, a South Korean. He's, he's a decent player as well. He plays uh, in the mids, center mid. Grooves to 79, so again, a really, really good player. He's uh, not setting the world on light, but uh, he's a good player. If you can get him, you could probably sit him on the bench even when you're in the top of the Premier League, so decent player. Now we got Laba, who is, again, sitting average, defensive mid, center back kind of area. 74 overall, grows to 79. Really good player to play in defensive mid and center back. He's got really good pace for it. 
So I'd recommend playing him there, and I reckon he'd be a really good signing. Now we've got Martorita, 85 pace, rapid player, grows to 78, sits in center defensive mid. This guy, again, top five defensive mids, got good dribbling and can grow a lot. He's only two... Uh, 23 years old, so he can grow a lot. Now, Gonzalez. This guy is in my top five for sure. 73 overall to begin with. Grows to 80, which is one of the highest ratings you can get from uh, out of these players. He's got 79 pace, and the all-round is a great midfielder. He can play center mid. He can play left wing, right wing, striker. Doesn't matter. He's going to do a job for you, especially when he starts growing. Now, we got Neves, and I put this guy in because he looks like a striker I would love to use. He's 72 overall. Grows to 77. Plays for Penneth and Nikos. He can play in the wing for you as well, but he's got a good finish, and he's got decent pace and dribbling. He's like, uh, it's like Jesus, but 10 overall lower. That's basically this guy. Next, we've got a guy that'll probably only play one season for you if you sign him, but if you do sign him, you won't regret it. His name is Ignacio Piate. He, uh, he's got a lot of good stats everywhere. He's a great dribbler. He's like Messi if he wasn't as good and he was about to retire. He's got five-star skills and four-star weak foot as well, so he can play anywhere from center mid to striker. And he's a skiller, so if you like dribbling, if you like skilling, this guy's for you. And he's in the top five because of how good he is. Next is Yamil Assad. He's an alright player, he's pretty young. You can pick him up, he can play left wing, right wing for you. He's pretty decent, I'd recommend him. He'd be in the top 10, I reckon. But he's not going to set the world alight, but he can grow to 79. So again, really decent player to have in your team, even in the Premier League. But this is my favorite player, Rodolfo Pizarro, 75 overall, grows to 82, which is the highest potential out of all these players, and I have him in a career mode, guys, and he has outgrown that. He's 84, 85 overall now. His pace grows to nearly 90 after two or three seasons. He's shooting even higher, mid-70s, passing past 80, dribbling past 80, defending nearly 80, physical nearly 80. This guy grows a lot, from 75 to at least 84, and you don't even have to train him. Imagine if you train him this guy could be one of the best players in the premier league and you're getting him for free if you sign him i signed him when i'm in league two after my first season i signed this guy in my first season for wages of around forty thousand. it was possible with forest green rovers i signed him he's done brilliant he's got me to the championship this guy would be amazing if you sign him when you're league two league one or championship and when you then get to the premier league you can grow this guy to mid 80s within two three seasons maybe even higher and he's going to be one of your best players and he's an all around great player three star skills four star weak foot he in my opinion is the best player that you can pick up for free in your first season of fifa 18 career mode so right guys that is going to sum up this video i hope you guys have enjoyed if it helped you then hit the like button subscribe if you're new check out my other videos i'd appreciate it a lot leave some advice on how i can improve these and any ideas you'd like to see in the future uh any questions you got comment down below just keep in mind these players you can sign in january of your first season for free all you have to do is pay their wage remember that they would have grown as well so they're going to be a higher overall than what they're shown here the potential can be outgrown some of them can grow to mid 80s pretty decently and if you're just simulating through a career mode this is how you get good players very easily but i'm going to end it there hope you have enjoyed if you did hit the like button like i said uh thank you so much for watching and i will see you later